on land and in the air. The okay. has left its mark in the folklore of our ancestors. The Cretaceous period. A time when the world was ruled by the most fearsome predator that ever walked the earth. Run! It's Godzilla! It looks like Godzilla, but due to international copyright laws, it's not. Something has been raiding his territory, and food has become scarce. He hasn't eaten for days. At last, a potential kill. But the T-Rex is cautious. He has never seen a creature like this before. Oh, hello there! Hunger drives him on. The T-Rex has a clear weight advantage. So his prey bluffs. But the T-Rex isn't buying it. So the creature tries a different tack. Predator's sensitive ears, the sound is incredibly painful. It is the T-Rex, not his prey, that is fatally exposed. They are not alone. Sixty, sixty, sixty. This is one of only three intact T-Rex skulls that have ever been found. What? Perhaps my childhood obsession had clouded my thinking. You see, as a kid, I was mad about dragons. Dragons from the high seas, flying dragons from Greenland, fire-breathing dragons from Europe. And here's the thing that got me. These myths came from all over the world, right? From cultures that could never have met. And yet from the Andes to the Himalayas, you could hear stories of dragons. How? Here's a kid's best guess, because the stories were real. You stupid! Last lap. They moved deeper into the cave and soon wished they hadn't. Now, I don't know the Romanian word for dragon, but someone said it. I get to hear about it and figure I'm the perfect solution. The man with no reputation to lose. Mm. Mm. Have you seen the pictures? No! It's got them in quite a state. They don't know what they've got, and neither do we. Can I go? On the museum's behalf? No! So here I am, with two of the museum's stars. There! I reference Night in the Woods! The official word is the bodies have been blackened by ice, but... He probably should have put some ice on it. Uh, uh, now kiss me! Now these are general characteristics. Characteristics of powered flight. Could this thing really fly? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. It's too heavy for these small wings. 
They couldn't create nearly enough lift to get its carcass off the ground. You see, to fly, you have to obey the laws of physics. <laughs> Screw gravity! There's something unusual inside the chest cavity. What are the- no! Unable to hunt, the young dragon exploits the only food available to him. His mother's meat will keep him alive for a few days. Campbell! Continuous battles over territory mean that most males never reach old age. But this dragon is still around. He's a sus- You put hydrogen in a balloon, what happens? If explode? And spreads his wings. Since of all the tools are here, they just haven't been used. Perhaps it didn't breathe fire at all. You need to shut up! We need... Two number nines. A number nine large. We need a light, combustible material. Like gas? The dragons that return to land discover that the prehistoric world has changed. The era of the dinosaur is over, and a new order of animals has risen up to fill the void. Mammals. Look at all those chickens! Incorrect! The sound is not a warning to go away, but an invitation to come closer. The tiger senses a meal. But he is a cautious hunter. The dragon tries a subtle change of pitch. Brought to you by Animal Planet Stock Footage Library. We haven't finished yet. Yes, we have. We haven't finished yet. Yes, we have. We haven't finished yet. Yes, we have. Am I just reading this? Is this a reproductive system? These are oviducts, right? Small ovaries. The female. Yet there's no evidence of follicular activity. The reproductive tract is immature. It's a juvenile. It's a baby. A little girl? Enough!